Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some easy summer snacks to share with you. These are super simple. You can make them yourself or you can let the kids help. My little two and a half year old son had a blast helping me. He had so much fun, was so excited, and he snuck some chocolate throughout the video as you'll see. Anyway, I have three snacks to share with you. I hope you guys enjoy and go ahead and keep on watching to see the goodies we make. Okay, so the first treat we're gonna make is puppy chow. I love puppy chow. It brings me back to my childhood and it's so easy to make. So all you're gonna need is Chex Mix, peanut butter, vanilla extract, butter, powdered sugar, Ziploc baggies, and some chocolate chips. And normally you could use like the two gallon Ziploc bags, but I only have the medium size. As you can see, I just worked in sections and it worked just as well. So, first thing we're gonna do to get started is measure out our cereal and it calls for nine cups of Chex Mix. As you can see, my little babe is so excited to help me. He could not wait, he was so excited. He talked about this all morning. So before we started anything, I was trying to get organized and Mason of course needed some chocolate chips. He just cracks me up. He always tries to convince me that he needs more. <laughs> but here he's helping me measure out nine cups of Chex Mix. He did such a good job and this is a really simple recipe that your kids can help with. Kids love to feel a part of things and I know Mason loves helping me in the kitchen. So this is really fun. We just measured out the cereal. our nine cups, lots of Chex Mix, and now we're going to measure out one cup of chocolate chips and put that in a bowl and Mason helped. And after that, you're gonna add half a cup of peanut butter to the cup as well. Mason stealing chocolate chips again. <laughs> and after you add the peanut butter, then we're gonna add a fourth cup of butter, and I'm terrible at measuring butter, so I just kind of like guessed what I thought a fourth cup was. I could have Googled it, but I don't know, looked about right to me. Then you're gonna melt that in the fridge. Melt it in the fridge, really. <laughs> you're gonna melt that in the microwave until it's smooth and able to be stirred. Then you're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla, Mix that up really, really well. And then you're gonna pour that over the Chex Mix. I think this is probably my favorite part just because it smells so good and it looks delicious. So you're just gonna pour that over the cereal and mix it well to combine and get all of the cereal full of chocolate. Mason loved this part. I tried to get him to help me stir, but he was not into it. He just wanted to steal pieces and eat them, <laughs> which is totally fine. So then you're just going to take um, spoonfuls of the cereal and put them into the bags. Like I said, you could use the larger bags, but I only have the medium size. So you're going to fill the cereal in the bags, take a little powdered sugar, and add it to the bags, and then shake, shake, shake. After that, you're going to lay the cereal on parchment paper to cool, and then you can enjoy. Tell me what you think. You like it? Okay. I'd say he loves it. Can you give me a thumbs up? All right. We are gonna make apple cookies. These are a healthy spin on a traditional treat. So all you're gonna do is need a couple of slices of apples that are cored and cut into a cookie shape, some peanut butter and chocolate chips or whatever topping you would like. And you're just gonna mix up your peanut butter and start to spread it on the apple chip. And I like to just kinda spread it evenly, put sort of a lot of peanut butter just so it really like tastes yummy and you can fit a lot of toppings on it. So I'm just gonna spread that. As you can see, my little helper is sneaking some peanut butter. <laughs> 
And after I did that, I just let Mason put some chocolate chips on top. He thought this was really fun. And I think it's kind of cute how he just kind of clumped them all together. So fun having kids like work in the kitchen with you. But these were really, really yummy and they're healthy. I mean, there is chocolate in them, but you're eating it on an apple, so it makes me feel less guilty. These are super yummy and super simple, and I hope you guys enjoy this apple cookie recipe. taking a bite. He thought they were pretty delicious. My lighting got kind of bad here, which is a bummer, but he was just telling me how tasty they were. The final treat that we have is a watermelon lemonade, and this one is my favorite. It's super bright, super refreshing, and perfect for the summertime. I absolutely love this, and I hope you guys really enjoy this one. It was so yummy. So first, you're going to take a watermelon, just slice it up, and blend those pieces until you have a nice liquid consistency. Um, I didn't show slicing the watermelon just because I actually had my husband do it. <laughs> but anyway, if you're not up for slicing watermelon, you can just use some watermelon lemonade, which um, I found by the brand Honest, and it was really tasty. So if you want to do that, instead of cutting up a watermelon, go for it. But then you're going to take a mason jar and add some ice cubes to it. Mason helped me with this part as well. He thought it was really fun. So you're just going to fill the glass with a few ice cubes and then take your watermelon liquid, watermelon juice, whatever you want to call it, and fill the cup up, I'd say maybe about halfway, maybe half a cup. And then you're going to take some regular lemonade. I'm just using this kind by Honest Brand. It's super refreshing, super tasty, and I'm just going to pour probably about half a cup of that into the mason jar. I just kind of eyeballed it, and then I'm going to top it off with a little more of the watermelon juice. Then I'm just going to top it off with a little more lemonade, and then the fun part. We're going to add some berries of your choice. I decided to go with grape, but you could use blueberry or raspberry, and you're just going to plop those into the glass and let them sink to the bottom. I really love the grape flavor. It's really refreshing and really tasty. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all these summer snacks. Be sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Thanks, guys.